So the frame shot on my 2005 F-150 and it also needs some transmission work and the truck's over 10 years old. Uh, it has a lot of rust damage underneath from plowing all these years and me not, I guess, doing enough to prevent that. Which lessons learned. Uh, but anyway, lately I've just been stripping off all the electronic accessories that I've installed on this truck and then after I strip everything out of there I want to strip out. I'm going to try and get the most amount of money I can for the truck because, you know, all those electronics, aftermarket stereo and stuff like that, it doesn't add any monetary value to the truck. So, uh, just best to take those parts out and put them off to the side and probably put them in the Chevy at some point. But anyway, uh, today's video I'm going to be removing the snowplow electronic components off the F-150. Um, if you do have an older truck and you plan to transfer that plow onto a newer truck, it's a good idea to go on the snow plow manufacturer's website and ensure that that plow will retrofit onto your newer vehicle. Um, my Western HTS will fit onto my Chevy 1500, however, I'm going to need to buy a couple new components. Uh, for one, I'm going to need to buy new frame brackets so that these hitch or these plow receiver brackets will fit onto the 1500. And then also I'm going to need to buy a wiring harness that goes from the isolation module to the headlights on the Chevy just because the plugs are a bit different. I suppose I could hardwire it, but I'd rather use the plug. So, yeah, without further ado, let's start removing the electronics out of this truck. So first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and remove your headlights. That's going to make accessing all these electrical connections behind the headlight a lot easier and if you do have a nice bumper you are going to want to put a towel in between the headlight and the bumper not to scratch it or you're going to want to support the headlight something like that so let's do a quick overview of the electronic components first off you have uh, this main power feed and this goes directly off the battery and this really is your main power for the hydraulic motor on the snow plow itself and the second one this controls your up down left and right as well as the headlight and turn signal controls now that wire traces to the isolation module which my isolation module is right here now the isolation module does a couple things uh, when we play with the handheld controller in the truck which is right here the isolation module interprets those signals and then it sends it out to the plow. And the isolation module also can detect when the plow is hooked up and on. Of course, if you plug that in, if you don't plug that in, the isolation module won't be able to detect if the plow's on. Um, but yes, when the plow is hooked up and connected to the isolation module and you turn the headlights on, the isolation module prevents the truck headlights from coming on and it turns on the headlights on the plow and it does that by literally plugging into the uh, the factory harness and it takes that headlight feed and goes directly into the isolation module isolation module determines if the plow is hooked up if the plow is indeed hooked up then it will not return current to the truck headlights and it will send that current to the plow headlights so well I hope that crash course made sense so the first thing I'm gonna do here is unplug the factory wire harness feed into the isolation module and then I'm gonna unplug the isolation module output which I've already loosened that connector and I'm just gonna reconnect the factory harness back into the headlight that's good to go now these wires are out of the way and I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Now there is one thing we're forgetting here. On the driver's side, they have tapped into the turn signal as well as the parking lights via hardwire. So we're just gonna have to go ahead and cut that and hardwire that in into the Chevy. And I believe on the passenger side, they did not tap into the parking lights. They just uh, hardwire tapped into the turn sig signal. So we're just gonna need to cut that wire on the other side. Okay, let's see if we can remove the isolation module out of here. Yes, I have cut some zip ties. This wasn't just flopping around. There's the isolation module and this whole mess of loom. Just gonna try and make this a bit neater. So there it is, famous isolation module. Pretty good shape. 
So this line right here, I know this goes directly into the cab and that's hooked up to the snowplow controller. So we are gonna need to pull that out. Maybe we'll work on that next and just finish off this side of the truck. All right, so here's the snowplow controller. And for those of you that don't know, you can actually disconnect these, especially in the off season, if you just wanna go ahead and keep this somewhere safe, completely up to you. But now what we need to do is back feed this wire harness back through the firewall and again that's directly connected to the isolation module. I've already cut the hardwire turn signal on the passenger side and again I'm not seeing any park light on this side so now we can just go ahead and start removing this harness out of here Unfortunately, the guys who installed this did an actual professional job and they zip tied everything underneath this radiator cover. So I'm going to have to go ahead and pop this off. Now all the power supply for the snowplow comes from right here, so I need to go ahead and disconnect this. And as for the negative side, for whatever reason, they've decided to attach it to the Looks like they attach it right to this fuel rail mount. Now, as long as I'm not forgetting anything, everything should just come out pretty easy. I'm forgetting one zip tie there. Okay, that's going to be just about all the electronics. And finally, the last thing that I'm going to do is just remove these receivers. Again, for the Chevy, I'm going to have to get new frame brackets anyway. I'm going to reuse the receivers. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.